Had your food? Hello. How was it? Good? Enjoyed? Now uh, it's time for next enjoyment now. Uh, session 2. It is Jugaad. Jugaad means maximizing the opportunity. Let me start with a quote. First, learn. First, learn. Then, remove yell. First, learn. Then, remove yell. What is it? Earn. Come on. We want this, take this opportunity. You are going to learn today and earn money in a lot in the days to come. Now, I would like to introduce Mr. Himanshu. Mr. Himanshu has uh, been uh, with Reliance Capital Asset Management Company since October 2003. And uh, he is having a 14 years rich experience. He is a fellow, insurance of, uh, fellow member of uh, Insurance Institute and he is a certified financial planner. He is gold medalist MBA and graduate in economic corners from Delhi. I call on Mr. Himanshu on the dais. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I know, you know, it's a, been, it's a heavy schedule today, so I'll try and not take too much time. Uh, you know, uh, my, the topic given to me is role and opportunity for IFAs. So uh, I'll use all my jogar to give you what I have been seeing and doing in these last 15 years in this market. Uh, do we have a... You'll operate? Okay. Uh, I'll try and make it simple. It's not, it doesn't have, uh, first of all, let me tell you that we have uh, over 75 people who are sitting here. So, and your cumulative experience is uh, more than 1,000 years. So I, I, I don't believe that I know much more than you, but I've tried to give, give you a perspective which is, which is uh, what I have learned in these 15, 17 years in this market across distribution and, uh, and, and the asset management as well. Yes, sir, Samir. So let me, you know, where is the way forward? The way forward is absolutely bright. This is a recent survey in US uh, where financial planner is uh, one of the most preferred professions globally. So it's the fifth most preferred uh, uh, prof professions globally. It, is, it has moved up significantly over the last few years. And I think uh, this is a big change because few years back, uh, uh, as it was, uh, IFAs uh, was, was uh, was not a profession. It was it uh, was uh, was broadly taken in. If you had nothing in hand, you used to kind of move into distribution. But now the reality is that uh, this is, is one of the most sought after professions. And I have seen here and met few professionals uh, who are leaving their plus jobs and now moving into becoming a financial planner or IFS. So that's the future of this business which you are into. Yeah. Now this is an interesting slide uh, and uh, wanted to show you uh, who are working and why, why this slide uh, is important. Uh, you know, we have two kind of people. Now this is the ARN numbers which are being mapped on the left hand side. Uh, so in a tough environment uh, which we are into, uh, we have seen uh, two big, biggest success stories. One, people who came in uh, in the early 2000s or before uh, in the late 90s, which was a tough time for becoming a financial advisor, especially from a mutual fund point of view. And I remember because the first time I did a one crore application as a distributor, uh, I got the call from the manufacturing, uh, from the AM sales head of the uh, asset management company saying that, and I was based out of Delhi. So the call I got was, uh, don't give this application to anyone else. I am flying from Bombay to pick up this application from you. This was, uh, this was in 1998, right? So not, not, not very far away. And today, 42% 40 of the assets from the distributor fraternity are, are from uh, uh, the independent financial advisors. Our view and take is that this uh, percentage is only going to go up as we move forward. 
this is the composition of assets. Obviously, this composition has changed in the last five years from being predominantly equity to now debt. But you still have those small gaps which are there, which are still 2, 7, 11 percentage, which is the, you know, liquid funds and basic, basic, uh, uh, you know, liquid funds, gold, X, Y, Z. I think that, that's something which, which, which is now, uh, you will have to decide in your own allocation that how much you want to focus on creating a very diversified asset allocation mix. Uh, because as we get into the new uh, era, I think volatility is going to stay. Uh, one needs to have a model and portfolio approach uh, uh, to grow from here and for both clients and your own portfolio. Now this is, this is what has changed in the last few years and you all know it. You have been, a uh, lot of you have been part of it from a very, very highly skewed equity uh, uh, market to an NFO driven market to now uh, a much more broader market from an uh, NFO to an advisory market from a passive regulation to a very, very active regulation. Uh, uh, from, from distributors being predominantly NFO sellers to now, uh, you know, financial planners and advisors and model portfolios being uh, evolving. So that's, that's a huge change which we have seen. And people who have evolved to this change are staying and growing. People who could not evolve and stay uh, uh, and who were stuck on to the first row have kind of got uh, extinguished from this, from this, uh, from this market. Yeah. Now, as we go forward, we clearly feel that there will be these three sets of uh, uh, distributors who would be there, and three of them will have their own relevance. At the bottom, you would have sales agents. Now, if this is the simplified version of uh, basic distributors, if we may call, who will be product sellers per se, simplified products, that, that is a huge segment. Uh, some, you know, there will continue to be and some of them will evolve into uh, agents come advisors, so executors come a mix of advisory which will, which will continue to be a predominant set of partners and then a small part would move into the actual financial planners and advisors completely and that's going to be a tr uh, transition. Uh, each of this segment con will continue to be extremely important for the, for, for the, uh, for the country. So sales agents would have their own importance because they would get in new people, one time fresh uh, investors, uh, people, and then they will evolve them over the period of time into, into advisory uh, clients. And I, I, as I said, it's nothing, nothing different from a very pure sales uh, uh, oriented approach. I think clearly moving to an advisory uh, and model portfolio approach. So that's, that's what, what we feel uh, uh, that's going to be the uh, the way forward for the, for the IFAs and for the business in general itself. So I think, you know, IFA as a word being used and at times it has been used loosely. Uh, uh, but I think this is a time when we really need to go by every word of it. Uh, so when we say IFA, it is independent. So it has to be an independent platform for advice, one-stop solution for consumers with sufficient business model, financial, and it's not about mutual funds alone, obviously, you know, this is not the time. So as an advisor, you need to be across all asset classes. Mutual fund will continue to be a, uh, a good part of that, uh, the entire portfolio you advise or you distribute. And finally, the advisor, which is, which is completely working in the interest of the, uh, your investor. Uh, I think this is this this whole concept is becoming live as we move forward. So you know you would one would have to take this clear word of IFA uh, completely seriously as we move forward. Uh, four basic things: uh, you are all uh, you know a part of a conclave which is uh, driven by technology. So technology we feel is the core of business. Uh, we feel goal-based prudent as asset allocation. Uh, would, would emerge. So from now product uh, to now, we would be moving towards model portfolios, wrappers, customized. We already have seen uh, uh, evolution of some of the sites which just give, you can, on a click, you can buy a model portfolio itself. So it's already work, work in progress. From an asset manager itself, we are moving from pure advice, pure products. That is one, they will continue to be to people who are here. But uh, I think a lot of people, uh, and, and by the way, this is equally true for a uh, lot of employees in asset management companies as well, uh, that, uh, you know, 
people have become complacent but that, that's not i think th this uh, effort would uh, play a very very important role if you want to multiply your business 10 times 20 times from here well, i think this is something which since you are part of a platform and you have a platform session separately but i think this is what is coming up on technology which you can use technology obviously on the physical format these things are not possible so you have fund wraps which are available uh, which are nothing mix you know getting the products together and wrapping it into a tax efficient structure so middle east have lot of these uh, you know wraps which are you know term insurance and mutual funds put together bundling it into a tax efficient and you have then fund supermarkets which are you know pure platforms which are there now i think these are some things which are which are growing just for for you know uh, a quick number uh, this was a survey in uk recently uh, about 80% or say oh, around 80% of the business uh, on the technology uh, you know which is advised is on platforms so almost 75 to 80% business which is advised today is on platforms so i think just highlighting the fact that technology is going to be a big uh, 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 driver of business going forward so we can skip this i'm yeah some yeah, skip this just for a quick one how technology will drive uh, this is the revenue for people who have used platforms the revenue in canada uh, people for people using uh, platforms have, have increased disproportionately in the last few years from the time they have moved on to the platform model 2003 2004 onwards yeah i think india obviously this is asia itself is kind of underpenetrated we have uh, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, you have uh, strong platforms, but broadly, I think in Indian context, I think this is something which is which is building up and is is uh, an important uh, will be an important driver of business going forward. I think from our perspective, this is this is something uh, which we are doing, as I said, on knowledge, uh, on on technology, on uh, on on uh, acquisition. These are a few things which we are doing, but that's not the purpose. So we can just skip. I think finally, uh, I think it's, it's the only message for the entire fraternity, including the organizations, which, which, which uh, you know, from the asset management system is, you know, we have to either evolve or die. And I'm, I'm happy personally seeing that uh, uh, I think a lot of people are evolving in this, in the, in this industry. And uh, personally, I feel you know, uh, and I do agree with the first slide when I showed you, this is going to be uh, one of the most sought after professions in the country a few years down the line. Thank you very much. Thank you, Iman Shuji. I call on uh, Mr. Nikhil Mehta on the dais to honor uh, Nikhil Mehta. Come, sir. Bagger. Kapadia, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, please come. Question. Yes, some questions. Yeah, questions? Good. I knew it. I knew it. So, support is a, you know, is it? Kiss, 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 is it on get on the on registering for the platform? Ji. So there are right now about ten people who have got who are live on on from a reliance perspective, completely doing business. Ten another ten people, the SLAs are in pipeline. Uh, obviously, we 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 were slightly delayed because of our a regulatory requirement from our perspective, wherein we wanted a tripartite agreement with uh, 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 with you and uh, uh, the tech process uh, part as well. So I think can it, uh, has it been sorted out? So so 20 people is is already there. So my apologies for the delay, but that's that's already uh, uh, done. You can actually quickly do. Uh, 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 the formalities and be on the platform immediately. Not not convinced, right? <laughs> so, so anyone from next advisor who want to uh, who want to comment on this? <laughs>
yeah got it. any other question which is there sorry no we are only losing the business because you have 44 options i don't have those many options so so i am very clear that uh, completely this is our loss and uh, and and that loss uh, uh, is we are trying to compensate by trying to uh, uh, you know we had a requirement now obviously in the course of business uh, if you have a regulatory requirement which may be different from other asset management co companies which have taken a call uh, unfortunately could not do anything about it but because that was a requirement which which came up and now as i said it is sorted out you have 10 people live uh, as of now another 10 which will be live very soon yeah, yeah. definitely hello on behalf of next advisors i would like to means we there was a long drawn process which which took you know sometimes it happens that uh, the communication maybe there was a communication gap or maybe there was something else but now the thing is almost sorted out i think we should see flight of sls from reliance and they have assured us so that's yeah. no question on that thank you yeah nikhil mehta ji yes sir if you can go to the center so photograph 